Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. January 9th, Richard Wormbrand. In his younger years, Wormbrand was an atheist. He prayed, God, I know surely that you do not exist, but if perchance you exist, which I can test, it is not my duty to believe in you. It is your duty to reveal yourself to me. But in time, Wormbrand learned the truth about himself, about God, and about Jesus. Not long after that, the world turned upside down. Politics suddenly made no sense. In 1941, Nazis overran a city in Romania and massacred 13,266 Jews and sympathizers, including many Jewish Christians. That's the world where Wormbrand was a Christian, a husband, and a pastor. Here's what happened. At times, God's only option for you will be to stand firm, be bold, and speak up. In 1944, when a million Russian troops poured into Romania, Richard Wormbrand saw it as an opportunity to share the love of Christ. He felt compelled to help the Russian soldiers know Jesus Christ. Wormbrand knew the Communist Party had hijacked the minds of these soldiers, and they could no longer think for themselves. They were unable to believe in God unless they were ordered to. And the communist takeover was beyond swift. 23-year-old King Michael I had been left on his own to deal with the sudden shift of power. There was no time for a propaganda campaign to sway the masses' attitudes towards Stalin. When the foreign secretary of the Soviet Union barged into King Michael's office, he demanded the communists be given government positions. Young King Michael could not resist. Communists muscled their way into the Romanian government while war-weary American and British forces finished off the Nazis in Europe. Once police and military power in Romania had been dismantled, the overthrow was complete. Churches and their leaders were now subject to communists who bombarded the people with constant propaganda and intimidation. Knowing Romanians had strong interest in religion, the communists sought to consolidate power by gaining the support of all the different Christian denominational leaders. In 1945, they held a meeting of 4,000 pastors, priests, and ministers in the parliament building at Bucharest. Stalin was the honorary president of this so-called Congress of Cults. As a pastor, Wormbrand was required to attend. One by one, ministers, priests, and bishops from various denominations stood and praised the communist regime and said the church could coexist with communism and assured their loyalty to its Stalinistic rule. Richard's wife, Sabina, told him, stand up and wash away this shame from the face of Christ. In her eyes, they were spitting on Jesus. If I do, you'll lose your husband, Richard said. I do not wish to have a coward for a husband, she answered. There was no turning back. Richard stepped up to the podium in front of a packed audience and praised Jesus, proclaiming that God and his son, Jesus Christ, demanded their full loyalty. His statement of faith was broadcast live throughout Romania. The powers accused Wormbrand of counter-revolutionary lies, and he spent 14 years behind bars. His wife, Sabina, was consigned to slave labor for three years. Wormbrand was starved, beaten, tortured, whipped, and pressed to betray his brethren. Why don't you give in? A tormentor asked him. It is all so futile. You are only flesh and you will break at the end, he told them. But Wormbrand did not break. He knew he was more than flesh. He knew he was a child of God. In the words of Jesus found in Matthew 16, 25, 
For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. In today's culture, is God calling you to stand firm in your faith? Is he calling you to be bold and speak the truth? Today, are you willing to pray and ask God to give you his strength to stand firm, be bold, and speak up? In these days, it may be your only option. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.